Have you thought about winter hiking? We have some real gems right here in Fayetteville. Great places to start your hiking. Get out of the house, get some fresh air, and just feel better about yourself. So let's go. When you're planning to go on a winter walk or winter hike, you gotta plan ahead a little bit. Today it's 19 degrees out, so I'm gonna dress a little warmer and maybe not hike as far. When you're at the canal landing in Fayetteville, take the opportunity to walk by the bathhouse and check out the little free library. So today, you see I got my hat on, my gloves, I got my face covering. This one is polar fleece. But more importantly, I got some good boots on and some warm socks. Every hiker will tell you, especially a winter hiker, cotton is bad. Cotton soaks in any sweat that you might have and it just makes you colder. So try to get something that's either wool or synthetic fiber. Or the best I like is a wool synthetic fiber mix. I'm planning about to go a mile out and then a mile back. It'll take me about 40 minutes. When you're winter hiking, you've got a plan that's gonna take you longer than when you're just walking in the summertime because it just takes, you're exerting more energy walking on the snow. This part of the trail, in the summertime, you can use some of the stretching and working out equipment. Not too easy to access it in the wintertime. If you get a chance to find a pair of snowshoes to use, this is a good trail for that too. Just a short walk down to the end of the bridge and back, and you'll have a really good aerobic workout. Breathing the fresh air just makes everything feel so much better. Here's the Fayetteville Recreation Center. You can reach it by this bridge. Now we're entering the feeder trail that leads to the Erie Canal walkway. The feeder trail runs along one of the feeder creeks that used to run water into the Erie Canal. Proper trail etiquette says to always stay to the right. If you have to pass somebody, you should pass them on the left, just like driving a car. I dress in layers. I'm starting to get warmed up now, so I'm gonna open my jacket up a bit. Inside, you'll see I have my polar fleece layer and then a base layer, something to keep me warm. I want to let the hot air out, keep myself from sweating too bad. This trail is a multi-use trail. You can see it's been used by cross-country skiers, snowshoers, and walkers. When we get up to the Erie Canal itself, that can even be used by snowmobilers. So you want to be careful, keep an ear out.
Here we are, the Erie Canal. There's some great informational signage. That you can check out, go online, and figure out how far you'd like to walk on the canal. These are the aqueducts. Up here a little way, there's some great information about the history of these stone structures. Okay, I'm going to head back now. I hope you enjoyed that walk. It was just over a mile and it took us a little over 20 minutes. So I don't want to go too far, especially when you're first beginning. And uh, make sure that you're prepared. I got some water when I get back and rehydrate. Take care. See you at the library.